Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you and explain to you how you can access some of the SharePoint document uh, management uh, features uh, in OneDrive Synced Library. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So look, I have this uh, SharePoint site. It's a team site with a library and a bunch of documents. And of course, when I right click um, above uh, each and every file or folder, I get to see certain things, certain commands I can do with this particular file. I can share it, I can uh, um, you know, delete, uh, download, uh, do version history, uh, all that good stuff. Now, uh, obviously, a majority of users these days, they tend to walk, uh, interact with, uh, uh, with SharePoint by synchronizing the library to their computers, uh, which is essentially what I did as well in this particular case. Uh, but in case if I'm uh, on my computer, right? Uh, I, you know, how do I access some of this uh, file commands? I mean, obviously, right? Look at this. Here's uh, everything I can do here. Quite a bit, quite a bit. Let's say I need to share this document internally or externally. I mean, I can obviously navigate here, do that. If I need to uh, check version history, I can do that. But again, you know, I'm not even here. All right. I am, uh, I synchronize this library and, uh, you know, here it is. Um, all right, here it is. Here is my synchronized library, same library that you just saw. Just happens to be residing on my uh, C drive right now. Uh, and but so I walk in this library uh, pretty much throughout the day. But uh, now I need to maybe uh, check out the version history or share the document externally. Uh, how do I do that when I'm here? Well, let me show you. Let me show you. Uh, you all you need to do is just right click, so you don't need, even need to to go to to the um, you know your browser. Don't even need to go to a SharePoint site. Uh, you just literally you know right click on the file, and uh, you will see this few commands that are available to you. Obviously, you don't get uh, to see all the commands, all the document uh, you know management features that um, you, you we have in SharePoint, but we have a few. So look at this. I can share. All right, so if I need to share this document with someone, let's just say, you know, you can share it externally if you want, but in my case, let's just uh, share it with uh, Mary. Look at this. It pretty much recognizes uh, everything. It's the same uh, user experience as in uh, in the cloud, as on the SharePoint site. So you can share the, the documents right from within uh, your, um, your C drive, if you will. Um, you, we have another option right here, version history. All right, look at this. The same ability. We have the same version history like you get with, um, you know, the online experience. And uh, you can even restore documents here. All right, you can even restore documents just like, uh, just like we can with, um, um, you know, with the online, with our browser experience. All right. Um, again, you know, we don't get to see all the options, right? Uh, obviously, you have to be in the cloud to uh, do a bunch of uh, other things like check in checkouts and power automate stuff and you know workflows etc uh, but um, um, this is really encouraging this is really helpful in my opinion if you uh, do synchronize like majority of users do and you know these days uh, you can pretty much uh, it's a, it's a pretty much a seamless experience for you and you can access some of those commands from the convenience of your windows explorer all right, so that's all I wanted to show you today in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.